is where you end up. YouTube probably wouldn't even be here if I didn't rob a house. So they if you want to have be a successful parent, go, go rob, rob a house. house. Welcome to Breaking the Cycle Podcast, episode number five. In today's episode, we're going to be doing part five of five of the 17 things your kids are dying to know about you. And we also decided that we're going to do one or two questions it's every week. The question of the week. It's going to be called the question of the week. So we're just going to ask you a question every week. So and we're going to make a regular, ha- we're gonna make a regular segment on the show. Each week, a regular segment. Like So whatever the topic is, you guys always prepare for this show. And you create the show. And you let me know the topic is. Then you're going to have questions. Are About the questions going to be related to the topic each week? Yes. Or pretty much or sort or of sort as much of, as yes. possible? Around yeah. there. Cool. And so these cool, are the man. 17 things your kids are dying to know about their parents. So, but... Why don't you give a quick recap? What are some of the, because yes, this is part sorry. five of this already. Holy crap. This is already the fifth episode of the podcast. What are some of the previous questions? Do you remember from the last if few weeks? If you guys haven't watched the previous episodes, go and watch them and then watch this So one. some of the questions were, so. what was the most expensive thing you borrowed <laughs> slash stole? And then what was the, Shameful. what was the last thing? You borrowed, and then what was the first thing you borrowed? And then you asked about your first phone, your first car, yeah. first Did you job. Did you ever take any meds, meds when you were a kid? We did meds. your first medic. Oh yeah, first medication. Yeah, good questions. Jeez, and those led to some funky ass stories and answers. Jumping around up in your- the people jumping around my head. You want to hear about the little people that jump around inside my head? The voices that I hear in my head. You're gonna have to go check out the previous episodes. So I want to just break it down real quick for them. What this podcast is all about in general. Breaking the Cycle is a podcast on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by changing, by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son will want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. Pauses, pauses, tactical pauses. Not like that other time, the pauses, <laughs> long oh, yeah. strategic that pauses that in a speech, no, the long pause in the speech where you, it takes like a... 30 <laughs> seconds in between two like simple words and you're like, what I the know. fuck are you talking about? Anyway, and what else is this That's show about, sense. Mitch? These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves when they are confronted with these life situations and have an idea on how to approach it. That's right, we were supposed to learn sign They're language. They're not in shock and have a That'd be cool if we could learn sign language because what if there's there like an oh. invasion? Huh? Oh. What if there's any, no, but there's also words. You could learn the letters. <laughs> you could learn letters, but you also learn yeah. words. Like what if there's like an invasion and we had to like talk about where we needed to go? We don't want to make noise because the enemy is real close and you got to do symbols, signals of where to go, where to meet. This is walk. You're also supposed to be working on one of your things for homeschooling, home lifing. Is the ch- checkpoints It's stuff. supposed to be the whole checkpoints around the house, the security, like Blue- routes yeah. and blueprints for the whole yeah, house. We, how to, we, we're almost we need to work on that. We need to get back on that. We got away from that somehow. Yeah. Some of those bigger tasks you guys got away from on the home life and we need to get to. But all right, anything you want to start off with before we get to the question? Something to kick things off. Okay. So let's do a joke. So, do you want the hardest one first or the easiest no, one? No, let's freaking, let's get warmed up. What do we got? Okay. Let's get the, the, the regular one first. Maybe some hard shit. Okay. Which sport is always getting in trouble? Wait, which what? You mumbled that a little bit. You told you got to speak clear. The microphone's way over here. What? No, I would never stall. So you well, just ask now it again. the microphone's over here. Ask it again very like slowly, clearly, loudly, and make sure our listeners can hear in this microphone. Go. What is the question? Which sport is always getting into trouble? Which sport? Soccer, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, lacrosse, tennis, freaking kickball. What the hell is left? Golf? Hockey? Handball? Soccer, football, I said those. Wiffle ball. Um, getting in trouble. Fuck, I feel like I should get this you one. You use a racket to play. And. Racket ball? Handball? No. And we, we always cricket? say it wrong. 
Uh, badminton? Bad. Yeah. Oh my god, that is freaking cheesy ass, lame <laughs> ass bad. It's badminton. 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 It's badminton. Badminton. It's badminton. Yeah, ba but the way you. It's not badminton. The way you guys say it, it's badminton. Uh, do you? You don't wear mittens while you're playing. But, but so I got badminton. what? I got half of a point for that. Yeah. So I got point five out of one. I'm keeping score. All right, so let's get on with these questions. Let's get on with this interrogation that you've been giving me for these last, like you're these investigators trying to get to the bottom of. I get you, the way I, I looked at the flow of your questions, it looks like you're trying to get to the bottom of how did I end up to be this thing that you, <laughs> that, that, you, that you see in front of you right now? Like, how did the create, it get created to be like Somewhat. this? Somewhat. All right. So, all right, what do we got? And, I, and by the way, I don't know any of these questions. The first time I'm hearing any of these questions is when we do it here, recording this live. Although this is a, a podcast, obviously we're recording this, but we're recording it on one take. It's not like I know what the questions are. I can't prepare for them. And some of them are pretty freaking tough and really make you think. So what okay, do we got? So let's get into All right. it. So first Just question. I'm saying the first one. We agreed that I was saying the first what? one. What? We agreed that. What? Saying. When was the first time you stayed at a hotel and why? Do you want to know really? Yes. The probably. So first off. You lived in a hotel. No. Never did I ever go in a hotel. You know how we, we've been in hotels probably hundreds of times at this point? Literally. We've also been on planes countless times. So I don't know. You already know. Last time, did you ask about flying or first? Somehow we got into flying. I'm the first time I was ever on a plane, right? Did we do yeah, one we of the episodes? Yeah, we went to the Marines. Was yeah. going to the Marines. Probably the I first time staying in a hotel, like actually legitimately Japan? checking into a hotel, like checking in and actually it's my room because mm -hmm. I was at hotels. We can get into those after first. I was at hotels for stuff. No, but the first time ever. My family never, what are you wishing for? You don't even make a casino. What does that have to do with anything? You're just, I know. That doesn't what? make any sense. She actually said you something. Can you your hat off? You said you were at your hat off. She actually said something weird. You said you were at I'm hotels. gonna tell you. What's wrong with the casino? You. People just spend no, millions it's not a casino. of dollars there. The first time ever actually had a room in my name, like legitimately checked into a hotel, was when I had to go to upstate New York, trying to get into the Marines. You had to go to upstate, it's called MEPS. It's like this. MEPS? Yeah. Maps. Maps. My zone ever points. But it's stamped for something else, so I don't oh. remember what. You had to go up there for like your testing, the ASVAB test. Remember oh. we heard Goggins uh -huh. talk about in his book, the ASVAB to get, so we had to, I had to go up there to take that, had to do my medical test, like physical, medical, physical thing. And that was up in Albany, New York. So that was like an hour and a half, two hour drive from where we lived. And so they had to get me a hotel room up there. And I remember they got me a hotel room and then they said it came with like, there was like a kitchen, you know, has food sometimes, restaurants there. This was like kind of a slop restaurant, like kind of like an old school, like cafeteria kind of restaurant in this hotel. It was a nice hotel. And the first time I ever stayed in a real hotel like that, I was like, wow, this is pretty nice. Well, nice for me. If, if we stay there now, I'd be like, what is this dump <laughs> compared to where you guys are used to staying? Probably you little lucky ass kids. But so I was staying in this hotel and they told me I had meals. Like as long as I went during these times of meals, like because it was paid for the government, because the government is sending me there. They pay for the room. They brought me there on, the, on a car. They had someone drive me up there to go take this test because they want people to join the military. So they help you with all the steps along the way to get you to join the military. It's like investing. It's their marketing. They're trying to get you to do it. And there was food and a dinner at this thing. I feasted in that hotel. I ate so much. I got so sick, I think, because I ate too much. But that was probably the first time I ever actually stayed in a hotel and I was 19 years old. Wow. First time. Oh. Never in my fa our family never was in a hotel ever because we know we never went on single vacation. We never went anywhere. I never stayed. Are you gonna crack it up the whole episode? I hear that every episode I hear in the background. First time click, I was click, on click, a plane. Click. The first time I was on a plane was when I was six months old. Six months. You're going to, and you're going to another country. Another country. You're going to yeah. We went to another continent. You went to, all the way to Russia at six months. Your first time on a plane. It wasn't Russia. Where was it? You can't say that nowadays because people will get really offended and you can get demonetized. Poland. Demonetized. So that was the first time. But before that, you know, there's always got to, we always have to take the stories. You want to hear more stories that get a little more interesting? Yes. The better stories I feel hotels? like, I feel like it has to do with the guy with his eyebrow. The guy. No, that was no. after. That was in, oh, when I was in the Marines that, already. Too, I never heard that was a hotel story. Yeah, lots of hotel stories. I, I thought so I before I went to the Marines and I was in my kind of in between phase of, <laughs> of like finishing high school and going to the Marine Corps was about a year and a half of just, Trouble chaos and ca chaos and mayhem. Yes, very good words. And there was like parties and stuff I would go to and like alcohol. So there'd be someone would have a room. I don't know who would get the room or where the room would come from. <laughs> and there would just be like 50, 60 people in a hotel room out hanging outside the hotel room, like turning into a hotel party at a room. 
which was, and then we were always getting in trouble. And one time down at the New Jersey shore, I was 17, drank too much. And my sister was there too. Lisa was there. We like just finished high school. Maybe we're still, it was a Memorial Day weekend. And we're at some, ho- same thing at this hotel room with like hundreds of people since it was Memorial Day weekend, just like overtaking the hotel. So someone called the police, the police came and everyone is like, some people did drugs and I'm, I drank too much. Everyone's like running, trying to get it, and they're chasing and they get caught up. I actually got arrested in the New Jersey shore. They shackled a bunch of us together, like eight, 10 people together, put us in one of those big trucks that you see them put prisoners into to bring us Jeez. to the police station. And I, I was underage, drunk and drinking at some illegally at some hotel thing. I had no, no one there. I didn't have any parent there. My sister was there and she was only, I think she was, Lisa was like 19 if I was 17. So I'm underage drinking, taken to this place. We're in, we're at shackled. Me and the, my friend that I was sitting next to, Paul, and he was handcuffed to me. And they're handcuffed to the next person, to the next person. Drank way too much. And he's sitting there. He, he keeps telling the, trying to get the I cops' attention right. when they're coming into the, we're on this, they call the paddy wagon. Like two rows of facing, five of us here, five of us facing in this big truck, handcuffed together. He keeps asking if he can get out and get some air. He doesn't feel good when we're first getting in there. They're like, oh, shut up. They're just like, tell you to be quiet, whatever. And they keep it in. The second the truck starts running, he pukes all over the place. And we're all handcuffed together. So this puke is going all over the place. And it goes all over the floor while they're driving around. So everyone's getting covered in this puke from him because we're handcuffed together. We can't go anywhere. We're trapped in the back of this box. And it stunk so bad because he kept puking and puking and puking. All this alcohol and the food he ate and all this nastiness. It's all over the floor. And imagine it's in the middle of summer too. So it's hot, steamy, trapped in the back of this thing. I it was, thought it was at night. It was nasty. It was at night. It was still hot and steamy in the middle of July or whatever Memorial Day is. May, whenever Memorial Day is. I think, I think it was Memorial Day. I'm pretty sure. And in New York, in New Jersey, hot and steamy. Those nights would be steamy and, mm-hmm. and humid. So that was another hotel story for you. Well, wow. What, can you tell the story about the eyebrow guy? I never heard of that. Yeah, that was in... When I was in the Marines, I was at a station in Biloxi, Mississippi at an Air Force base. So we'd also, on the weekends, go get a hotel to get off the base to go, like, just hang out and not be, like, on the base where it's all, like, official. So we'd go have parties, like, at the, at the hotels off the base. And the rules were, like, don't be the one that passes out or falls asleep or gets too drunk and passes out. Because then stupid stuff, things, stupid stuff would happen to you. And oh. so one, kid, one time a kid fell asleep on the beach. In, this is in Mississippi also. Both of these were in Mississippi. And he fell asleep on the beach and it was like 90 something degrees in Mississippi, just hot blazing sun. He passed out drunk on the beach. This is not a hotel. This is a daytime. And they took uh, SPF 50 sunscreen and put on his chest. I'm G G word. Like I'm G. G. <laughs> and they, he let he pass out there for like two, three hours and he wakes up and it's like burned into his skin <laughs> for like months. That I'm G. So that was one. And then another one in a hotel was this one guy fell asleep. He was a Navy guy. And another Navy guy lit his eyebrow on fire with a cigarette lighter while because he fell asleep. And the rule was, don't fall asleep. Don't pa- don't be the, like weak. Like that was like a weakness to get so drunk that you just like pass out. So he passed out drunk and the guy lit his eyebrow on fire and it actually for a second was on fire. But then he woke up and like started like smacking his own face and got up and they got into like a fist fight and like wrestling around. They were just two drunk idiots like fine. So yeah. There's a hotel story. Is that what you were expecting when you asked the first time I stayed in a hotel? I knew I, I knew both of those stories, but I didn't know the one that where you got taken into the van. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know about the eyebrow dude. The eyebrow dude? Yeah, if this is only mic for all of us, so you have to make sure you don't get too squeaky over there. All right. I didn't know about the eyebrow dude. <laughs> all right. All right, now, what do you got? Let's do another joke real quick because past episodes we haven't been getting as many jokes. Which one? Okay. Those are the those are great when we don't get main jokes because these jokes, um, let me tell you. All right. What five letter word typed in all capital letters can be read the same upside down? What the f- five. What Little. five letter word? I G igloo. No, something with an I starts with an I or starts with an N. You don't get a time limit for this one because this one is hard. Does it start with an I or an N? No. Fuck. O. No. No. Because O could be upside down. Shit. So every letter, there's got to be an I or O or an N in there. Oh, there is an I. There is an I. You And you get one point for this, even with hints. All right. Upside down. Miami. 
Miami almost said no. So the has to see this first, the first and the last letter have to be the same letter. That would right? be Wyoming. Yeah. You know, so. Wyoming. <laughs> Except <laughs> so for the A's. Five little words. So the first word, right? The first letter and the last letter are the same. So like I'm figuring this out piece by piece. Wow. And the first letter is not I. No. Yeah, well, you already said that. So the only one's A, B, C, C, no, D, E, no, E, no, upside down? No. no That'd that be wouldn't be backwards. It'd be like a three. <laughs> C, D, E, F, G, H. H? Nope. Jeez. No H. I, J, K, L, M, M? Yes, there is an M in there. N? Yes, o. Oh, no, there is no N. There is no O. P Q R S. Yes, there is an S. T. There's no T. Wow, I'm see, I'm coming with a lot of good ones that are actually could fit. Wait, Two, upside down? I'm thinking backwards. Shit, upside down, right? Not backwards. Yeah. So look, if you type it, I get it. I get it. Capitals, yes, yes, yes. You flipped it. Under. All capitals is the key word there too. I bet. So S I M, and you didn't finish the whole alphabet. You're at T. I know. U. There is no U. V. Upside down, you said? Yes. X. There is no X. Jeez, I can't put a lot. Y, Z, Z. Nope. You need... You only... I got you I... Need, you need one more letter. I got I, M, and S. I'll give you a hint. Boy. M. It has something to do with M. I said I got I, M, and S. I know. I know, but the, the next hint is... Miss... Missy. Nope. It has, no, it has something to do with M. Yeah, so M is first and last. If you flipped M upside down. Oh, so M upside down is not the same as a W. You said it's the same thing. Hmm? No. What's, a, what's the joke? What five letter word typed in all capital letters can be read the same upside down? An M isn't read upside down the same. If you went upside down, it would be a W. Exactly. What? Exactly. Is it read the same? Well, I don't know. We gotta move on. What is it? Okay. Swims. Look. Swims. Swims? Look, watch. Swims. Swims. Damn it. That was freaking hard. That's a good one, but that's hard. These are supposed to be cheesy riddles. Sorry. Not some mind-boggling fucking thing that Einstein... Einstein. I, I just saw it and it They said that Einstein can't even figure it out. We're both all the same thing. All right, what's our next question? Let's keep this thing Albert. rolling. Okay. Alvin next Einstein. question. What are you the most proud of in your life? Like, what are you the most proud of that you've done or that's happened? Or and it is? can't be proud of borrowing something that was very expensive. It could be. Why would it, it, could it be? If you, listen, if your biggest achievement in life is stealing something, you're a, <laughs> hey! you're, you're a freaking Say loser. It. You're a loser. <laughs> Say the question <laughs> again. Say the question again. What are you the most proud of in your life? Today. Today. Right now. This show. Holy crap. This moment. This minute. What more to be proud of? What more to be excited about than this day and this time and this us shooting this thing together? Like, wow. what could be more proud than that? I never thought of that. That Like, why you think it's going to be, oh, actually, you think it's going to be what? I, I made a million bucks in a year or bought our dream house or but have tons baby. of tons of coaching clients that that pay me a lot of money every month to help them with their personal discipline and personal development or opening up a gym that help people get in shape and that's lose weight and change their life. Th I thought it'd be having children. Well, that's this part of this moment. I thought it'd be buying this house and children. So should it be, all right, buying a house should not be a proud, yeah, it's a uh, good no. moment. That's a landmark, that's like a goal, but to me, the new there's a new goal every day. It's like the next day is the goal. Like today is my only goal. Like to master today, to be the best today, to have discipline today, to do, be a good role model today, to do shit like this today with you people, you little freak shows. You so people. what could be more proud than this right now? This right now is more proud than we did it yesterday because it should be getting better and better and better every day. So, so it should be your birth. So according to you, it should be the birth of your kids is the most proud. So after that, so here's the height of your life. Your kids are born. And from there, it just goes straight downhill. Misery. Murder and mayhem going on. Like, oh think God. about it. Don't you get what I'm saying? Like, that's why uh, every day is my new. So you're best saying day. when we were born is the least proud. I was pr pretty, <laughs> pretty damn. <laughs> 
So yeah, do you get it? Get where I'm coming from? Like that, that's my new, that's the goal every day. There's a new best every day. There's a new goal every day. It's like the journey, the day, the minute, the, this show right now. What, what more in the world right now do I have to think about than this show? I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm not thinking about what we have to do later, that we record other episodes for our other podcasts, that whatever else I have to do, I have to catch a flight tomorrow and do it, go on a podcast and all this other stuff in, in Atlanta, no. all this other stuff. The last question is that question, the same question flipped, but if, if, the, if the most proud is... Well, what do you think about it? Well, we need to finish this one. Don't just already jump ahead. Like, let's go on to this one. What do you, do you get, so... Yes, I get, get what I'm saying? So explain it. Explain okay, it to me then. So I want to hear what you think. Because my mind works like a twisted way, like to think of that, like literally this minute, this moment. And guess what? Next, an hour from now, that'll be my next new, like, thing. You're most proud of. Hopefully. Well, if I just, after Unless this... Unless you go back to when you were 19. Yeah, if after this I just walk out and I go smoke a cigarette and snort some cocaine, like, That's then it went downhill. Answer. So now, yes. all right, now I'm just, now you start living in the past, so why not make every day better than the last? Like, so break it down. Let me every hear. Every second better than the last. Deep, deep shit right there. So break it down. What do you, I want to hear your interpretation of what I said, like, without just repeating the same shit I said. I want to hear what okay, you have to say. mine... Or, you go first, so I can think about my answer. You're, you're so dumb. You... You shouldn't have told her that that's you doing. You should have been like, you know what? Midge, I went first and last one. Why don't you take this from here so you can think about it? You told her why you were doing it, so you just screwed yourself. It's called shooting yourself in the foot. Who's why going in the foot? I who's going first? Time. All right, I guess I'll go first. So yeah, what are you first. most proud of in your life? <laughs> Is, like, to me it means kind of like what it, or well, as you said it, be proud of this moment of uh, how you're living and all that. But, like, what if you're not as successful as, as you were, like, a year ago or We're not this year. Ago. This year we're not as successful. Since we, since we started, like... You shouldn't say that on camera. It does, why? Why? Not, like, I, I will sacrifice money. I say it all the time. I will turn down opportunities and money to live the lifestyle I want to live. If there's something that's going to make me not be able to live the lifestyle I want to live, I will turn down money. And if I start making a certain amount of money, so much money that it makes me not be able to live the life. If I had to be on the road and be gone, like these last seven weeks, I've been away a lot, but that's like the most. Probably four weeks. But, but you guys were gone for, with me for oh. at least two of those weeks. So I yeah. was able to take you with me. So that fits in my lifestyle. Imagine I had to just go away twice own. a week on my own because we're making tons and tons of money. Do you think I should keep doing that and no. not get to hang out with my kids no. and do shows like this? That's why this moment is the proudest thing. What, going and making a million dollars somewhere by myself, sitting, yeah, rip your shirt. That's just brilliant. That's just brilliant. Do you think that, yeah, that, that, like, I don't even remember the train of thought because I'm watching a kid play with a pair of pliers ripping your shirt across <laughs> live on television. Like, holy shit. That's the, there it is, my new proudest moment. A kid that is, is all wiggly and fidgety. Do you get it? Get yes. the point? I so do get it 100%. Where's your breakdown of that? Like, uh, I get it, but say, like, it's kind of what Tyson said, my version, but say you are not living your ideal lifestyle but you don't have but you're not successful while doing that then it's not your proudest moment at all no more because you got worse like yeah so my goal is to get better like tiny bit percent every day so as long as i'm doing that then yeah that's a new biggest accomplishment the new thing to be proud of yeah if i was going backwards then i would be able to say oh yeah a year ago or imagine that like so you're 11 so imagine my I haven't, like, we haven't improved since 11 years ago, 12 years, almost 12, 12 years ago. Like, think about it. Like, that. I just say that. People don't totally think of that way. Everyone. People don't think about it that way. They don't understand it that way. Yeah. And then you said one time, I forget where we were going. We were at the Mastermind and I told Vince that. No, but I was saying we were, like, going to, like, somewhere, like, say we we're going to, like, Disneyland or one of them places. And it's like, they say, how old are you? And you're like, I'm 12. And meanwhile, you're still, like, a month and a half away from 12. You want to be Mr. Cool Guy when you're really 11. I They're know. like, oh, great. So 12 and up is paying the adult price. You would have been for free if you were a kid and you end up screwing us over because we have to pay more. Oh, yeah. That was at the NASA Space Center. Yeah, was one like of the NASA. things was at actually set. Oh, the NASA Space Center. Yeah, in Houston, right? Yeah. yeah. NASA. I said I'm 12 and they're like, you're going to have to pay an extra $20. No, you, we didn't get to that point. But on the thing, you were walking around just the day before at the Mastermind. You two tell me we were 12. Then we got there and it said... 12 and up is adult and say. you would have said 12 if you and you're not 12 but obviously not going to check your kid's id because you don't have an id but all right i think we got the point on that what else we got here today all right last question why don't you 
take us off with the last question. This is 17? I want to say, yep. yep. Holy crap. Wait, but really it was end up being like 37. Because 37. We 37. Added, added so many additional follow-up no, questions. and 17, 71. And I turn, I turn one question to like three answers. So what do we got? So earlier I was saying that if, what are you the most proud of in your life? That was this moment right now. So what are you the least proud of in your life? I, I'm just going to make a joke out of this. Was it the day you were born? <laughs> like turning it around? Well, if, according to my way of doing it, that should be because yes. if, if, other, if you think about the <laughs> philosophizing, the way that I'm talking about it in this deep, deep philosophical mind, which is not even a word, philosophical. then yeah, the day you're born is your worst day of your life. The day you're born should, <laughs> think about it. This is deep shit right here. That, and this could be the caption for this video. The day of, the, wor the, the day, day I was born. Born. The day I was born was, was the, the worst, worst day, day of my, my life. life. It is. Think about that it. That is so deep. It is deep. When you think about it this way, before I even explain, I want you to see what you think I mean by that. Mitch, what do you think I mean by that? The day I was born was the worst day of my life. Explain that for me from my, what you think I'm saying by that. Your twisted mind. Yeah. Explain what you think I'm thinking. The day you're born, you don't get anything accomplished except for crying and sleeping. <laughs> you shit a lot. That too. What? But that's it. But it, but more than just that. You're getting accomplished. But what else? Why should it be, maybe not your proudest day, but why should it be like up there? It should be like, you, it shouldn't even be on the proud ranking achievements. It should be like in the ground. Jesus, you want to put a newborn baby in the ground? <laughs> this is turning into like this horror story. You what the heck? It's horror and you told me you wanted it's it a, in your it's a horror. mind. It's, it's a horror story. It's a horror movie. And it's a forest. Horror. It's a forest. It's a far head. It's a forehead. You said you wanted me to explain it in and your it's a banana. You two, you two it's speak, a banana. You two speak like hillbillies. It's a banana. No, now you're just saying you stupid. Eat a banana. No, now you're saying it dumb. How do you really say it? Banana. banana. No. Banana. 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 You two say banana. It's a banana. 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 It's a you the see, thing you out there. Like a Google search. The thing out there with the trees it. is a forest. It's a forest. This thing is a forehead. That is a forehead. But your head is right here. It's not far away from you. What is when something's forehead. really bad? It's it starts with an H. H. Horrible. Horrible. It's horrible. You say horrible. Orange. orange. Horrible. It's horrible. Orange. 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 No, it's orange. You two are some hills. I say mirror. You say mirror. Mirror. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. It's a and mirror. And I say library. You say library. 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 I say library. I say, say library. No, library is not one. That one we're on the same. But you two speak it's like boring. hillbillies. Like I sometimes wonder if you were born like in Kentucky or some shit. No offense to Kentucky folks out there. <laughs> we actually like our Kentucky folk. Kentucky yeah. ballistics. Yeah. Kentucky ballistics. Go watch. Scott. Him. Who's Scott? Scott? That's his name, right? Is it? I thought it was Kentucky ballistics. No. Well, oh, Scotty, right? There's one. Scott. What is his name? Scooter. Scott? Scooter was Scooter. his nickname in that little yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what Matt. All right, so back to the question. Again, repeat the question, so let's get on. What are you the least proud of in All your right, life? so let's go back to that. Can you explain the baby thing more? When I say that's the worst yes. thing in my life, what do I mean by that? To, to because, answer on top of what her answer was? Because I mean, if you're the because right if you're the most proudest right now, then going all the way back when you're born, you ha you have achieved absolutely nothing. But you're so still, yeah, but and? You have no, you, or well, you could be proud of stuff, but you probably don't understand anything. So that it could be your least proudest moment, and then over time you just I keep getting more proud, me. proud, proud until today. Because if every according second, to me second, now, if you reverse yes. engineer it, if if the goal is to get better every day, the worst day of your life. I'm three days old. What was the best day of your life? Three days old. Why not when you were born? Because you, of now it's a new day, a new day, a new day, and every day should be like the new best day of your life. So according to that philosophy, every reverse day should be the least best day of your life. But I'll go further into it. What, so let's think more. We, we say the question again because I'll try to give like another. Like that's like the real like deeper answer. But let's see if, we give, see if we can give it like a more normal answer. What's the what question again? What are you the least proud of in your life? I can't hear you, nor can they. What no. are you the least proud of in your life? What are you the least proud of in your life? For some reason when you got closer, your voice got extra squeaky. That's what we'll we go hear. back to the intro. Yeah, we oh, have a recording no, 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 of that no, 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 too. No. We have a recording. Please don't post it. Let's do the other recording. Post the other yeah, one. Yeah, I have. That's what I'm saying. The one we did the behind the scenes today. I'm going to repost that one. Oh, definitely that one's going up. 
Oh, you, oh you remember how you got so mad when we posted the other one? You tried choking me, you were punching you me. Cut, you throat karate chopped him. People loved that. They said, oh, I love the karate chop to the throat because he was like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What was that even posted? I didn't see it on I'm just no, I'm saying we were going to post it. What's the question? Yeah, we, we question. didn't post it, Midge. It's not on YouTube. What's the question? <laughs> what are you the least proud of in your life? All I right. know that you posted it, BTW. <laughs> what? Are you speaking in text terms? Yes. Text terms. The kid with Vortex. Hashtag kid with Vortex. Vortex cabots. It's in the ditches. All right, so the least proud. All right, here, let's go back to this again. Are there things, all right, so forget about that whole idea. That's the real, my real answer is that. Like, the day I was born, yes. So you said it as a joke. Stop eating your hands. You said that as a joke, right? When Which you said. that to be the real philosophy. And I know, I never thought of that in my life until right as you made that as a joke, I thought about, it. you know what? That is it. I never thought of that in my life, ever. I've never had that thought in my life, ever. Well, I did. And so you just gave me a new <laughs> thought, like a whole new idea, a whole new way of thinking of things. So thank you for that, making that joke, and it turns out right. But let's say, let's say, do you think there's things, that, do you think that, like, on paper, forget about, like, all right, you're better every day. Do you think there's things I've done in my life that you're not proud I'm not proud of or wasn't yes, good or, or wasn't definitely. nice of or was course. bad or was horrible? You wouldn't, you wouldn't be living right now if there wasn't a moment like that. So do you think that there was many of those moments? Of course. Of course. Do you, Even sorry, with me. Do you think I think it's okay to do the things, some of the bad things <laughs> that I've done? Yes. You think it's okay? I think it's okay to do some of the bad things I've done. No. Some of them. But, <laughs> but here's the catch to it. All right. I don't know how to say this about being like off. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, they're right. There's bad things I did, but I wouldn't. If I can go back, it's nothing that I really did that's so, so horrible that I wouldn't go back and undo anything I've ever done. I wouldn't go back and, oh, I wouldn't do that. Because you know why? why it made they, you who you are today. Exactly. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it would change. The second you go back and change something, say something even bad happened to you, it would go back like, and change like everything that happened to that point. So now, who knows where that life would have went from that point? So I wouldn't change a single, simple, single thing. People say, oh, if you can go back to your 21-year-old self or 18-year-old self, what would you tell yourself? I would say nothing. Tell them nothing. Keep doing exactly what you're doing, exactly how you're doing it, because it's going to lead to where you should, it should be led, you should be going. You get it? Yes. It, now, if Unless that leads you to be a criminal. Now, if I was like... Uh, like in prison. Did something like k killed someone that didn't deserve it or something. Killed someone. Then different story, but... This kind of things, whatever, like not really much that I could think of that I would undo. Because if you start undoing stuff, then you didn't get to where you were. Say you, like I am right now, nine. Say you went back in time. Say you did something really bad when you were two years old. Like like you lit the house on fire on an accident or something. I kind of almost did playing the video games. We talked about that in one of these episodes too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So what about it? What's the question? Say you... I'm nine right now, and I went back in time, changed that, lighting the house on fire when I was two. Then, you got some I did, twisted thoughts. But, anyway, continue. But then, not like you said. You said everything. You change yourself to the point you are at now, but it's not only changing yourself how you are now. It's changing the things that happened in between that time. So you wouldn't be to where you are now. Who knows? If I say one of those bad things I did, get arrested, robbed someone's house, say, oh, that's so horrible, right? I robbed someone's house. Say I go back, don't rob their house, don't get arrested, don't go to jail the exact time I did, don't get out the exact time I did, don't start the Marine Corps the exact day I did. I probably wouldn't have joined the Marine Corps if I didn't rob that house. So the fact that I say I robbed a house made me get arrested, which made me go to the Marine Corps. If I didn't, so luckily I got caught. If I didn't say I robbed the house and didn't get caught, that's why I wouldn't change the getting caught part. I wouldn't change the robbing the house part. So say I robbed the house, got caught, maybe go to the Marine Corps, right? Mm -hmm. And then all the, so if you take out any one of those pieces, it changes the whole trajectory, the whole line. And who knows where you end up? You too. I wouldn't even be here if I didn't rob a house. So they if you want to have be a successful parent, go, go rob, rob a house. house. That's, there's a good one for the tagline. If you want to be a successful parent, go rob a house. If you want, no, but Derek. Think about it. You two wouldn't Daddy, be here Derek. if that didn't happen. I wouldn't went to Marines. Who knows where I'd be right now? Who went directs me if I didn't? Because you could say, oh, I wouldn't rob the house. So if you take that out now, that means I would not never have gotten caught in the Marine Corps. Okay, I would rob the house, but I would do it differently so I wouldn't get caught. I'd be smarter about it and not get caught. Okay, but if I didn't get caught, I wouldn't have went to jail, wouldn't have went to the Marines. You get it? Mm -hmm. But there still could have been kids yes. sitting here in these seats, but they wouldn't be us. <laughs> Any split second. No. 
unique each individual is that it's, it's like impossible each human birth and even human being is like impossible to create and somehow they get created that's why everyone has like you some unique you know, that's so that is a very unique one did you know that something like two a hundred or two hundred thousand babies are born every day geez the population is going up but, but then they are dying but then, dying like, every but day. then like 136 or, someone dying every second someone born every second someone's dying right now someone's born right now that's life someone's dying born right now and probably at the same time all right i think that that's 17 questions we wrapped it up it took and us five did. episodes to wrap this up Good questions, good job, and we're gonna keep Ow. and we're gonna keep building up on those questions. They're gonna get tougher and tougher. We have good questions every week on the topics. Let's wrap oh this ra wrap oh up? let's wrap up this episode. We can... All right, I know, I know. We gotta go, we gotta go celebrate a little birthday. All yeah. right, Charlie. So one more. Birthday. Ricky's first birthday today. Ricky's Doll's first, first birthday. Eat some. Yay. Okay. So we gotta run out to the Why pet do you store. Why are saying that? It's okay. so annoying. Okay. All right, we gotta okay. run out to the pet store to go buy him some presents. Let's, let's finish with this example too. This morning I sent you guys, so I send them a message every morning about like a question of the day and some pictures, reading some books that I'm reading, pictures of pages. Stoic. So one of the questions today was what's something you've done to go out of your way to help someone out to yeah. do that was totally selfless that's going to be wasting your time. That you'd help someone out. I drove today. We drove after the gym, me and Tyson, right past Petco. We could have went inside, grabbed something real quick, been back back on the highway, been home. It would have taken us five minutes. But I know we knew you wanted to go, so I said, you know what? We'll rearrange the entire day. So we're gonna come home. Now we have to go drive back out 20 minutes to the pet store, get the thing, and drive back in just, just to do it. So you have to some a lot of times think about not just what's the most convenient for yourself, because you probably would have been a little bit, it's not the end of the world, you've been a little bit upset, pissed off if you didn't get to come with us to pick out his, our dog's first year, first birthday gifts. So things Remember like that. Mr. Lion? I just popped in my head. That's a perfect example of Mr. Lion. Perfect example of Doing things that are inconvenient for yourself to help other people. You need to do more of that, right? We all need yes. to do more of that every day. Every day you should ask yourself, what did I do to go and help someone else? Like, who did I actually help today? What difference did that I have to make today? That was actually the Daily Dad. The Daily Dad. One of those yeah, questions yeah. where... I, well, I reworded it to fit yeah. our stuff. Like, yeah. I made it. I totally I changed it up. How are you kind? Yeah, exactly. I made we it, don't say kind. I made it fit uh, ourselves. We're so sorry, but we don't I say I totally kind. changed it. I didn't say about self. I didn't say about I sacrificing know. your own time. I made that my own. Totally yeah. My own. yeah. You made right. it your own philosophical, philosophical, right. yeah. But we got to roll. Right. One, more, one more joke. Oh, man. So what do I have so far? Uh, you have point half five a point. out of two? That sucks. So I need, a, I need to kill this one just to break even. Uh, right. I can't break even either way. Go. Point five out of two. Quick. We got to get it. We got to go. Why is Alabama the smartest state? It has the most A's. That's a point and a half sucker. I know that's the answer. Ish. It gets the most A's. It has the most A's. Because it, it got four A's and only one B. It has the most A's. Yes. That's, yes. That's a, that's a one and a half. I got that before Fine. you finish the question. That is a one and a half points. That means I got one and a half. Out of three. Plus point five. Oh, so two out of three. Oh, that sucks. Got two out of three. Still pretty good. Yeah. All right. Wrap this up. Take them home. All right. Two. So if you could smash that subscribe button on Grandma, share it with whoever you want. With share your, it with your dog that has his birthday today. All right, anything you want to finish off telling them before we get before we leave? If you want to go see the intro funny skit thing, go watch that now. Now? What do you mean now? No! Excuses! You've only done that at the end of every video for, oh, I don't know, the last like nine freaking years. And you're like, what? No? Oh, what? Apparently, the peak has happened and the be the, the best journey of the life is it's going, going to start going down the list. She's already in the ground. Subscribe. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Subscribe. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you.